Hello there and welcome to my little guide for teachers on e-learning. In this video we're going to look at how we can put the videos on YouTube and edit them on YouTube as well. You can use specialist software to edit videos before putting on YouTube, however I prefer just to use the YouTube software itself as it saves me a bit of space on my computer. First job is go to your get your computer, get it logged on, go to your internet browser. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter which internet browser you use. I prefer Google Chrome. Uh, it tends to work better uh, on my laptop for the things that I do. However, other internet browsers are available. So we're going to get onto YouTube. And this is my just YouTube homepage. You'll see a lot of the random stuff that I've been watching. Some of it helpful, some of it not. Here we go, some of it my daughter's. Um, if you want to upload a video, what we need to do, uh, top right here, you can see create a video and more. Within this, you have got the option to upload a video or go live. For the case of this video, I'm going to just upload a video because I have pre-recorded it. I don't want to record it live in this case. It opens up this thing here where you've got a drag and drop. So find wherever you saved your file. Uh, so this is my video files done. And da, 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 da. where's it gone? There we go. Naming the file sensibly is always a good way to go. So this is a video um, I've made today for showing my students how to get onto Edmodo. So you drag and drop that into the panel um, and it creates this. Now, because I've made videos before, it's come up with my sort of default thing that I always have. So I'm just gonna delete that and put something else there. So this is a video on, oopsie daisy, using Edmodo and it's making a student. Just a random description here, uh, bits and bobs of how you want your students to use this or how you want whoever it is to use it. So uh, this video is a walkthrough of how to make yourself, oh can't spell today, self and ed an account on www.edmodo.com Now one thing that is quite nice about this is any spelling mistakes that you make, uh, it should underline, so uh, that should be Greek code walk through once it's spaced or hyphenated. Uh, English teachers, feel free to correct me there. So there we go. That's my title description. Uh, here you can get a little picture come up. It's called a thumbnail. That is a picture for your video that the students actually see. It does auto generate some pictures here, but usually these end up being silly pictures. Uh, if, if you have your face in the video, it'll be silly pictures of your face halfway through speaking, pulling some awful looking faces. Or what you can do is choose a file anyway. So these are some files that I already have um, and I've already pre-made just using paint, nothing fancy here um, to make a little title there. So all that I do for these, I get onto paint. Oops. made myself a pretty good background, coloured it in, um, and there we go, I just changed the comment on here each time. There we go. Save, and then you can use that as ever you see fit. Uh, I'm not going to bother saving that one, that was just an example here. So here we go, student, account, go oh and there yep as you can see me pulling faces at ridiculous points of the video so here we go nice little starter slide there playlists you can put your videos into different playlists makes it easier for students to find like one load of stuff at a time so this is about uh, edmodo so i'm going to pop it on edmodo if you've not got a playlist you just click new playlist make a name for it make its visibility job done uh, I'll talk about visibility in two minutes. 
Audience, who is the video made for? Now, cyberbullying, we've all had to talk about in school at various different points, um, and online trolling is a big issue. So there are a few different things that we need to do to make this safe for our students to use. And actually, YouTube have made this a lot easier recently by just adding that button there. OK, Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPA, and other laws, whether it be from the EU or America or England, wherever, um, we have got our child protection laws and we do have to look after them. OK, so if you click, yes, it is made for kids. First off, that covers all of that child online protection. And one of the ways that it does that is it makes sure that the content is safe. It removes adverts. So heaven forbid you'll be doing a, a video on whatever it may be and then an advert comes up for Viagra or pregnancy tests. The students don't need to see that. So it removes adverts and another neat thing it does as well is it blocks comments. OK, so there is no provision on this if you click yes made for kids for students to write in comments, which is OK. Um, you might want to get in touch with the students, but I'd advise doing that through your school's uh, email provider or through a website like Edmodo. Doing it through YouTube, it does open it up to the trolls. Uh, and basically, we, we don't need that. We don't need trolling. We've got better things to do with our lives. Uh, what else? Um, so age restriction, you can put specific age restrictions on over here. This will already be sorted through clicking that link above. More options. It's very rare I actually bother looking through these, but it is worth double checking here. Um, has anyone paid you to do this? No. Uh, so you can ignore that. And tags just to help people find your video as well. If you want to put in subtitles in, great. That's fine. Uh, a lot of those are automatically generated. Recording date. There we go, if you want to put that. Uh, the license and that sort of things, this means how people can use your video. Um, standard YouTube license is pretty fine. I prefer to go for the Creative Commons license. So that means the Creative Commons attri attribution, can't speak anymore, uh, means that somebody can use your video, but they have to give you credit for using it. Okay, I like having that layer of protection in there. Uh, category, I tend to go for education. Uh, comments automatically disabled and you can turn off likes and dislikes if you like as well. I like leaving it on. Next, uh, video elements, end screen, we don't need. Ad cards, we don't need. These are about promoting other things, so nope. And visibility, right. Depending on who you want to see your video, this is very, very important. A few different options here. Public means literally everyone in the world can see that video. Um, set as instant premiere. I've only used once before and I didn't really see the point of it. It means that people can watch it the first time as you're loading it for the first time. And pff, I didn't see it as being particularly necessary, so I just tend to go for public there. However, if you do not want your content going out to the public, um, you can put it as unlisted. Now, unlisted just means that only specific people with the link can access it. Now, that might be useful for sending uh, videos just to specific classes or specific groups of people. Um, that's quite useful if you are using Edmodo or email to actually send specific links to specific students. That's quite a safe option. I quite like that. Um, private is invite only. So with unlisted, anyone with the link can see your video. With private, only specific people that you invite, I believe via email, uh, can actually access that video. I've not used private before. I oh, know I tell you, I've used it twice um, and, it, and it works fine. Um, but in this case, this video is for quite a few people. So I'm happy to leave it as public. Schedule, uh, for if you don't want to put the video up yet, you can put it on later. And just generic sort of extra guidance there. So if we click publish, there we go, video published. Now, if your video is particularly long, it might not publish it straight away. It might need to load for a little bit. Um, so don't be alarmed if that's still loading when you get to that stage. When it's done that, you've got the different uh, sites that you can share on and you've got the video link there. 
I'd like to think we all know this, but obviously you should not be using your public, um, sorry, your personal pages to do this. If you are using your personal pages, um, that is a bit of a risky thing to do. So I would advise using professional systems or actually having a Twitter account or Facebook account for your educational resources only. That's exactly what I have got here. Mine are all uh, Miss K Cat and it does not link to my personal profile in any way. So my students and their parents can't see anything that I get up to. Ha ha ha. A few different platforms that you can have that on, including email, LinkedIn, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, we've got a link. Great. Close. Okay, so that is uploading and you can see that it has actually made my video here. You can go back onto those editing options from before by details. You can see uh, analytics of who's seen your video and why and whatever. If they've made any comments, which we've set it as they can't, they would go there if they could. That just opens it up for you to watch. Uh, and options we have got here, again, edit, link in, promoting it. That does cost money, um, it's up to you. Download if you want a copy just to save on your computer. Delete forever does get rid of it. If you want to edit your video, so if you are a bit like me and put your foot in your mouth a lot, you might want to edit your video to get rid of the bits where you've gone wrong. To do this, you just click on that picture there, the picture of the video itself. It takes you to these different options, okay, of what we had before with our thumbnail. Blah, 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 blah. We've seen all this before, but over here on the left hand side is the editor. So if you click on the editor, that will open YouTube's special studio. Here we go. Here is the studio. So what I'm going to do is just scroll down a little bit here. Um, what you have got the capability of doing here is playing it, fast forwarding it a little bit, sending it back. But what I'm going to do is just show you these little bits down here. So this top row here is the video itself and down here is the audio so the bits where it's big is where your voice is within this you can zoom into certain sections as well which is very helpful for editing so what i'm going to do is i know i made a mistake on my video when i recorded it about here-ish so let's have a look for that okay so just there I opened my streaming software, this stuff down here, OBS, uh, to make sure it was actually working because sometimes you press the button and it skips between different things if you've not set up your hotkeys properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim out that mistake. So let's just play and pause until I get to the mistake. There it is. Open it and close it. So all I'm going to do is take that back to the start of that. I'm going to click trim and then split, splits the van video at that point, And you can see, there we go, it's made a little blue line. And then I'm gonna take it, just zoom in a little bit more to that clip. So I wanna take it to a point where I've no longer got that screen up. So here we go, get the screen up, get the screen down. Okay, I've paused it. I'm gonna click split again. So now there are two little blue lines there. Um, if I leave the blue lines like that, they will not trim out that section. What I need to do is grab one of the blue lines and drag it over like that. That means that section where I made that little, uh, when I checked on my own video, is no longer there. So let's click preview to make sure that that's worked. Play. There we go. I've edited out that little section where the kids didn't need to see it. Okay, so once you've done that, click save. Um, I'm not going to save at this point because I've still got some edits that I want to do to this video, but that is how we do it. Okay, so press save, job done, and that is it. Okay, hopefully you've found this video useful. Um, I'll be uploading more content soon. Bye-bye now.